<laughs> okay, I'm ready. I think so. <laughs> Let's go. Let's What's up, YouTube family? Welcome back to a new video. It's time for a girl chat, juicy questions, uh, Q&A questions. I wrote to you yesterday that I wanted to, I wanted you to hit me, hit me up with questions like juicy girl chat questions uh, that I'm gonna answer. Uh, first time I do one of these type of videos, I'm really excited. Uh, I'm a little bit afraid as well uh, because I quickly looked at the questions and uh, they are juicy. They're definitely juicy. <laughs> I love it. Um, before we begin, I want to say that these answers are my answers. I'm not saying like I'm not speaking for anybody else. I'm talking about myself uh, and I have no problems at all being really honest just so you know. Uh, so I will be really honest. I'm gonna say everything. So this will definitely be a juicy video. <laughs> okay, let's start. Uh, first question that I wanna answer is, uh, are you nervous that your body won't get back to how it, uh, to how it is now uh, after pregnancy? And uh, yeah, I think every girl is um, um, a little bit worried about that um you like you know your body but after giving birth you can never know how everything will turn back together you know what i mean um i'm trying to not think about it as much uh, because i think that when i have when we have the baby i will not care i will not care at all i will like we will have a baby we will have a baby that is half robin half me and that is the most amazing gift you can ever get. So, of course, I'm gonna get, try to get back in shape, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not. Okay, uh, is Robin gonna propose soon? <laughs> Let's freaking hope he does. <laughs> I've asked him um, if he's gonna, if we're gonna get married. He's like, yeah, yeah, that's the plan. But I don't know his plan. So, yeah, I'm a little bit frustrated, but <laughs> it will happen sooner or later. When he has a baby boy, I think it's gonna, it's gonna pop the question. I will say yes. <laughs> and next one is, um, what was the first thing you thought of when you found out you was pregnant? You were pregnant, okay. Uh, I was scared to death in the beginning. Um, uh, I don't know if some of you might saw the pregnancy video, but uh, I found out in the morning, I ran into Rob and he was asleep and I was like, wake up! And yeah. I told him and he didn't speak to me in like two hours <laughs> so uh, it was definitely mixed feelings um, and the biggest biggest um, thing that I thought about was can I do it because of my job because of how we are traveling and how we are living our lives um, but when you start to land a little bit and let it sink in of course we want a baby so I have the age for it so. Uh, next one is, okay, so this is in Swedish, so I will try to uh, translate it. Uh, how do you handle an irritated... Um, um, VJJ. VJJ? <laughs> how do you handle an irritated VJJ? Because we are, uh, we who are training a lot, we are also showering a lot, and we have a lot of, like, yeah. If you wash your vajayjay too much, it will get irritated. Of course it will, because it has to have like a pH... Uh, pH... Uh, something. PhD. <laughs> PhD. No, no, no. PH 65. <laughs> it has to have a certain... I don't know how you call it in English, but I think you know what I mean. It has to have a, a certain temper. <laughs> yeah. Not temper, but you know what I mean. PH um, yeah, something in that area. Um, and if we shower too much, you will lose that and it will get irrita irritated. Uh, my biggest um, tip is to not use any soap. Don't use any soap at all, just wash with water. Um, don't wash too much, just do a, a quick little and then you're done. And you don't have to, um, yeah, don't, don't do anything else than that. Don't use any soap, that's not good. Next one is, now when your boobs are <laughs> bigger during pregnancy, um, will you 
Uh, do you want to do fake boobs after breastfeeding? Um, I love my small boobs. Like I love to have small boobs. To not be able to have, to have, to have to have a bra is the best thing in the world. Uh, and I love to walk around without, without a bra. Um, I don't own any normal bras, so. No, I don't think I will do a breast, um, I, I don't think I will do fake boobs, but if I get like two or three babies and they're starting to like be around here, I don't know how I will feel about that. Maybe I will lift them up, I don't know, but I definitely don't want them bigger. Definitely don't want them bigger. Not like this, I want them small, small, small. I like that. Next one is um, planning on marrying Robin. Yes, I am planning on marrying him tomorrow. Next one is, how did you, uh, how has your and Robin's relationship changed since becoming pregnant? Um, it's definitely something that is happening when you are, um, when you agree to get a baby together. Because once again, like we, we are gonna have something that is half him, half me, and like that is us combined together and it's definitely something that is happening when you find out that you are pregnant um, it's definitely like we have all always have a lot of like love in between us uh, but it's it's a little bit more love now I think he's like always on my belly now rubbing it I want to see how it grows want to feel how the baby kicks so you definitely get a more um, you connect a little extra together so that is something that has definitely changed between us. Um, yeah, you feel you feel a little bit more love. Even though I, I know he, he loves me, but it's a little extra because I'm, I'm carrying his baby inside me. So it's a pretty cute, cute thing. It's amazing. Next one is, do you have a name picked out for the baby yet? We have names picked out. We have a long list, but now we have um, Cut it down to two. So we have Elliot and we have uh, Lionel. So we'll see. Maybe some of those two, but maybe he isn't uh, one of one of those. So we'll see, we'll see. But those are the two favorite ones at the moment. Next one is, uh, will you breastfeed your baby? I will definitely do that. I'm, I cannot wait to do that. I don't know why all of, everybody is different, of course, uh, but I don't know why you won't, like, I don't know why you don't want to do that. That's the closest you can get to your baby. And I will definitely want that to work. But it's also a matter of, people have, I've, I've, I've heard people having some problems with breastfeeding. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna push myself too hard if it doesn't work, uh, but I really want it to work. I do. Next one is, and this is in a Swedish, I think also that I got this a lot of times. Uh, how long have you and your boyfriend been together uh, and how did you meet? So we can take that in one question because I got a lot of how did you and Robin meet. We met in the gym, <laughs> cheeky cheeky, <laughs> we met in the gym, uh, he was stalking me, no I'm kidding, but a little bit, a little bit. Uh, he followed me on my Instagram and my Snapchat and he knew who I was but I didn't know him. Uh, we started to talk in the gym and uh, we really had like we we connected really good and we had a lot of fun um, and uh, I was definitely attracted to, it, to him um, and now we have been together almost three years uh, and now we're waiting for our baby boy together so, so excited so excited yeah next one um, do you still have sex even though you're pregnant? <laughs> Yeah, I do. <laughs> wow, okay, so they say that e either you don't want to have sex at all or either you really want to have sex. I'm here, like I'm here. I cannot, I cannot let Robin be. Do you say that? Yeah. I'm on it, <laughs> like I'm, I'm always on him. <laughs> I'm on him. <laughs> I'm not on him. <laughs> okay, we're gonna rephrase that. I cannot let him be. You say that, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say that, you know what I mean. Um, and 
it's it's weird what the pregnancy can do to you but it's definitely had had me more uh, you know <laughs> it's it's so crazy because like of course I like sex but everybody does. yeah everybody does um, but now it's a little extra extra definitely and uh, <laughs> Yeah, he's not complaining. We can take the next question now. Um, are you scared of giving birth? Uh, yes, I am. Um, I'm scared of... I'm not scared... I know it's gonna hurt, but I'm not like... I'm not scared of that it's gonna hurt. I'm scared of how long it's gonna take for me to... get the first contraction. And then, when he's out. How long is that gonna take? Because people have been telling me stories and stories and stories. Um, and I, I like I want to hear them, but I don't want them to affect me too much. I'm trying to not think about it too much, but I'm definitely a little scared. I think everybody is a little a little scared. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. They say that the baby adjusts to the body that it's growing in. So I'm hoping it's gonna be a really small, 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 cute baby, and then he can grow. <laughs> After himself, not before, not Robin. Like Robin is freaking big, so he cannot have. Like he, I, I just hope he's not big before he gets out. <laughs> I can say that. Uh, next one is, what is the, uh, what is most hot for you in your partner? As I said, Robin is really big, um, and I love that he is really big. He can just like pick me up and walk away. I really like that. Um, I, I like muscles, but I don't have to have like a six pack and he, he like a shredded body. I don't, I don't need that. Um, but if the guy is like comfortable in his body and like Robin, he's really comfortable in his body and he's, he's big and he has muscles and he has the whole package. I'm really happy. I'm really less than happy. He's really, really cute. I'm really hot. <laughs> Um, how is the sex life now? Yeah, I'm already answer that. It's really, 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 really good. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Uh, how many boyfriends did you have? Wow, okay. I don't think I had that many, to be honest. I had one. The first one I had was like, I was 16 and I was with that guy for three years. And then I had one, two, maybe, I think I had like four with Robin. I don't think I had more than that. Maybe, maybe, maybe five, like a, a quick one that was like three, four months. Um, is that it? That's not a boyfriend. But yeah, four or five, something like that. I've always been in long re relationships. Um, and now I'm stuck. <laughs> Next one is, what is the best way to remove hair around the lady area? Okay. Um, this is a, it's it's tricky, but I have one product that I always use that is always helping me, and that is baby oil. Baby oil for smooth, smooth skin. When you have been shaving yourself, um, and always like I always take Robin's um, shaving. What is what is, what is that called for for men? Gel. Shaving shaving gel. I always take that. And I put it on the area and I shave and then when I'm done I always take baby oil always like a lot of it and like massage it in because it's gonna help you so I will say that that is my best tip um, shaving is good but don't like I don't like to shave upwards like you know what I mean shave down like follow the lines and you will, you will solve it Please. is pregnancy uncomfortable how do you cope? How do you cope with your body image now when your body is, is changing? I have been talking a lot about this on my uh, on my Instagram. Um, it's definitely changing, and uh, it can be. I haven't felt so uncomfortable yet, but from time to time, when I'm in this like in the sofa or in the bed, and I'm supposed to from lying down on my back getting up, it can be a little uncomfortable because it's something like in the way and I'm starting to feel really heavy um, Heavier than I was before. I, I'm, I'm a small girl I'm really small and I don't have a lot of kilos on me Normally and now I've gained a 
about like 9 10 kilos so it's definitely getting a little more com uh, uncomfortable but I'm only I have four months left so I cannot complain uh, I can still move I can still train I sleep good um, I have to pee a lot but overall I don't feel so comfortable yet so but it's uncomfortable. Uh, sorry <laughs> I don't feel so uncomfortable yet but it's definitely a lot of stuff happening um, and I just I'm so happy that I'm pregnant so I try to not think about stuff like that I'm gonna gain of course I'm gonna gain I need to gain to be able to like he's he has to grow so I have to gain so I don't try to think about it that much I love that I'm pregnant and I'm really happy about it so I don't care next question is uh, when was the first time you had sex I think it was like, it was with my first boyfriend. I, I had a boyfriend, so, and I think I was 16, 17, something like that. I think that is kind of, uh, it's young, but it's not too young. Um, so I think it was 16, something like that. Next question is, did you try to get pregnant? And uh, the answer is no. Um, this was definitely a surprise. Uh, I wanted to get pregnant, but me and Robin was like, okay, but when the time is right, we will get pregnant, but we're not trying, trying. Um, but it happened, so <laughs> here I am with, uh, with a belly. <laughs> um, and it's the best feeling ever. It is, truly. Uh, what's the most embarrassing thing you've done in front of Robin? I think it was in the beginning when we started to date and uh, I started to spend the night and um, I had to pee in the middle of the night so I went up, went peeing and farted in the, in the toilet. I, I did fart in the toilet though. I did like, I didn't do it beside him, I did it on the toilet. And when I came out, he stood outside the door and he was also gonna go to the bathroom. I was like, what, what What? are the odds? And it smelled like shit in there. I'm, I'm like, it, it just, it doesn't, it did not, it did not smell good. And I was like, oh, he's gonna walk in there now and he's gonna feel it and he's, uh, yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't good. <laughs> and I got really, really, really embarrassed. Uh, but I talked to him about, I'm always like that. If I'm embarrassed of, uh, of something that had happened, I, like to talk about it because I can make a joke out of out of it out of it and I can make myself a little you know a little foolish I can laugh about it easily uh, when I talk about it so I did talk about it the day after and he just laughed so yeah he's used to it now <laughs> uh, did you ever do bo Botox or do you do it now um, I did Botox I did I've done it since 2000 and 16 I think um, and I filled in like this area in the first first place I filled in this area and then I went for like the lower forehead and then I went for the whole forehead and around the eyes as well um, and that is like yeah from the last year or something um, and now when you're pregnant you cannot do a shit you cannot do anything and it's starting to yeah it's definitely starting to feel like it, I'm losing <laughs> my face um, I'm not saying that you have to do Botox if you want to age of course that's totally fine it's so pretty that girls have their like you have wrinkles all of us have wrinkles some in more like early age some in late age I had it really early I did something about it and I was really happy about it I would never say that anybody else should do Botox but I really like it personally I love it um, and it makes me feel fresh and yeah I really like it but now when I'm pregnant I can't do it I cannot do it and now I'm in that phase when it's starting to loose up in my face and I'm honestly yeah it's definitely hard on me I can tell you that to be honest it's hard on me uh, I think it's really like I feel old in my face and it's I don't like it I don't like it at all um, so yeah 
after the baby is born and after breastfeeding, I will definitely get back to my clinic. <laughs> Fill me up, you know. Fill me up. If you want to send a baby shower gift, where can I send this? That's really cute. That's really, really, really cute. Uh, I have a, a PO box uh, and I will link it below for those who would like to send me anything. I will be really happy. How was your first time when you were drunk and did you drink a lot when you were in your teenage? Uh, I did not drink a lot when I was in my teenage. Um, my dad is a police officer and I always wanted to make him proud. I had my days, uh, I definitely did, uh, because you have like, if you're a teenager, you have to try it out. Uh, and the first time I was drunk, I, uh, <laughs> my, uh, I called my dad and my mom. I, I called them, so they were really happy that I called, uh, but I was really, really, really drunk. And I said to my dad, like, I need to get home. And he's like, yeah, but we have company over, so I cannot drive at the moment. Um, so I will send you a car. So he sent me a police car. He sent me a police car. And I had to jump in that car with a colleague of his, and he had to drive me home. <laughs> It was not a good day, okay? It was not a good day. I was really drunk, I came home, my dad was outside, and he was like... And I, I stumbled out of the car, I was like, hi! And he's like, no, go inside. And I have, I have so much respect for my parents. Uh, and uh, yeah, I felt really, really, really stupid. And the day after, uh, they gave me house arrest for three months. <laughs> and I had to sit in. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't good. They're so proud of me now, though. <laughs> I never drink them. <laughs> um, what is the strangest thing Robin has ever done? Robin does a lot of strange things. Trust me, he does so much. Like, I'm surprised, surprised every single day because he's... I don't even know what he's doing. <laughs> he can do... I don't know. Wow, it's really hard to just point out something, but he does strange things things all the time all the time uh, what's the most important thing in a relationship uh, I think that the most important thing when it comes to a relationship is that you should show your partner respect and you should um, appreciate each other because when you starting to to take each other for granted like, he's always in the sofa, she's always by the computer, you know, like, you get into a really, like, boring routine. And I think it's really important to, if you see your partner and you feel like, oh, he's so handsome, say it. Say that you think it's ha he is handsome or she is handsome uh, or she looks cute or she has a cute blouse or, like, appreciate each other and what you have for each other. That's also one thing that changed a little bit more for me and Robin we I see him different like in a, a little bit different way now because he's gonna be the father of my baby um, but I think it's really important that you really see your partner as your partner and do stuff to, together you don't have to go on a expensive trip but do something like go up go out for a walk take a picnic in the park I don't know like do stuff together and plan time together it's really important to have that time but it's also important to have separate times i would say yeah is sex better or worse during pregnancy <laughs> um i wouldn't say like me and robin has always had we have always had good sex but it's something else when you're pregnant because you're always can you say horny <laughs> Can you say that? Mm -hmm. It's my channel, I can say whatever I want. Uh, but you are. Um, so much more. And uh, for me, I'm, I'm answering for myself. Um, so it's it's a little bit, like, it's a little bit different. It is. Um, but it better or worse, I wouldn't say that it's better or worse, but I would say it's, it's different and it's more feelings in it. So I think yeah, it's a good thing. It's good to try out. Whatever you like, go for it. Use a condom though. <laughs> Otherwise, use it like this. 
Um, how do you train when you are uh, under your period and uh, how should you handle it? I would say that it's also really different from girls from girl to girl how intense your uh, period is. Um, I'm I think I'm not in the worst category, but I can definitely have days when I'm like, oh, I don't want to move it. I have so much stomach and I just want to lay in my bed and don't move. But every single time I feel like that, I go to the gym anyway and exercising during uh, your period is actually a really good thing. It's really hard to get there, but as long as you just get your ass to the gym, you will figure out a way to handle the workout. Uh, I'm not saying that you should go in and do like really heavy deadlifts or squats or whatever in that area. Just go there, walk a little bit on the treadmill, maybe cross trainer for 20, 25 minutes and like activate your body because it's gonna help you with the like the period flow in your body. It's like I, I promise you, it will get better if you are more active than just sitting in the sofa. That's my tip. Like, go and work out. Um, but you don't have to, don't push yourself to, you don't have to have the best workout in that certain week. You don't, you don't care about that. Just go there and do a decent workout and you will feel better. You will. I promise. I think that was all uh, the questions that we have time for now because, yeah, this one is like ticking. And I think this will be a lot of questions. I hope that you like this video that we did today, guys. Uh, give me a thumbs up for the video and for the girly, girly chat that we had. Once again, I'm also just answering from my own opinion. Uh, and I really hope that you yeah, appreciate that I am being honest. Uh, I want to have my channels as, as honest as possible. So really hope that you like them. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so you know there's a video. Face. Face. Love you guys. <laughs>